Details this morning about the 28-year-old man and his 14-year-old passenger involved in a deadly car accident on I-465 over the weekend. Yeah, so it turns out the man driving that car has a string of alcohol-related charges against him. Carlos Diaz is here, and Carlos, the driver survived, but uh, this teen did not. Yeah, unfortunately not, uh, Ben. Medical professionals did all they could to save this young lady, 14-year-old. Rosie Missy Amos on Saturday. Several people who stopped to help her were able, were able to pull Missy from the wreckage and perform CPR. Paramedics did get her pulse back in the ambulance, but she later died at the hospital. One of the people who stopped to help her is a nurse, Melissa Upton. She tells us there was a doctor, a retired firefighter paramedic, and a cardiologist who all stopped to help as well. Upton finds some solace in the fact that they were able to keep Missy alive until she got to the hospital. I was glad we got her pulse back so that she could go and her family could see her one last time and make that closure themselves instead of her passing in the middle of 465. Now here's the mug shot of the driver of the car, 28-year-old Stanton Bowie Jr. He is in the Marion County Jail at this time, charged with operating while intoxicated, causing death. Now a records check on Bowie shows a string of alcohol-related charges against him, including five hmm. previous uh, convictions for drunk driving. As I said, he is currently in jail right now for that wreck on Saturday. Oh, so tragic, but to hear from someone who was there to experience it all. And to hear the amount of people who stopped to help, mm -hmm. you know, uh, was they did all they could. And you know that she got the best care that she could. Yeah. All right, Carlos, so sad. Thank you. Mm -hmm.